<laughs> Welcome to Good Mythical More. We're gonna see if the foods that match iconic horror movies trigger a memory in one of our brains, mm. even if we haven't seen the movie. Mm. I've probably seen most of these movies. I think I've seen all of them, but I wasn't thinking about the food. Okay, but first, let's give $1,000 to save the children to aid in their mission to ensure their three global goals are met. No child should die from preventable causes. All children should have access to quality basic education, and no child should be a victim of violence. Please join us in giving at savethechildren.org slash donate. Thanks for being your mythical best. Whoa, come on in, Gwyneth. And thanks for hanging out with us in this more. Gwyneth, thank you for hanging out. Hi. So, hey. Hi. All right. So we, we got the placards here. Hi. We've got uh, Pet Cemetery. Seen it. Ghostbusters. Let us know if you've seen it when you when you say Oh, it. I will. Seen is it. This the original? Original, yes. It's important. I've seen it. It. Seen it. I I, I have seen that. Uh, the Shining. Seen it. I mm -hmm. I have seen that. Okay, here yeah, good. We're on the roll. Excellent. Get game. out. Seen it. I have seen that. <laughs> Child's Play. Seen it. <laughs> Scream. Seen it. Uh, I'm pretty sure I didn't see that. Food though, wow. That's a good one. You're just not thinking about food much in these, in the context of these movies, at least I'm not. That was the challenge of this, was coming up with these, but I'm a big horror movie fan, so. You came up some with this? Of, I did. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, cool. Did you so have to like rewatch these, these movies in order to remember the foods? I didn't, no. Is it I watched a YouTube clip, so. Okay, um, got it. But, and no. Do we were, get to watch the YouTube clips? Look, how, let's keep interrupting her, how about that? How about every time Gwyneth starts to speak, we just say something. How about that? Okay, so I tested like a couple of these on folks in the crew beforehand, and everyone seemed to think they were extremely hard. Okay. So okay. let's just see how it goes. All right, okay. So we moved forward with it. <laughs> cool. <laughs> so we did it. <laughs> Give us the first one. Uh, Twinkies. Okay, Twinkies. We actually ate these together recently. Yeah, that was a fine, fine memory. <laughs> fine memory we created together. This doesn't immediately trigger a memory. Hmm. I think I remember. I like. I think Childs. I think I remember this scene. And Childs. I think I remember like the actor who says something about it. Uh, how do I guess? Or was this a three, two, one? Uh, so. It's like a pair, it's like a put the plate, put the placard with the plate situation. Yeah, so do you want to start like on that end and put the plate and then put the placard? Uh, I am reasonably certain it is Ghostbusters. And there's a Bill Murray scene in Ghostbusters where he holds up a Twinkie and does some sort of Twinkie stuff with it. And I don't remember exactly I don't what remember he says, that. but that's what I remember. Hmm. We don't get to find out yet, do we? No, we're gonna wait till the end. Okay, because it would get really easy by the end if we. Yes. Uh, do we exactly? Do we get to see clips that we uh, are not allowed to see because we will get copyright claims? No, Rhett. That would be the answer. <laughs> yes, we're gonna see the clips <laughs> at the end. Well, also, I don't, I don't know if you mentioned you have decoy movies. So you're not tasting the same amount of foods oh. as movies. Is this just milk or is it? Cereal okay, and milk. so here's the thing. Oh. What we have here is a bowl of dry Fruit Loops with a glass of milk on the side, and you essentially like go. Oh, you make the cereal in your mouth. Mm -hmm. Okay, got it. Mm. Got it. And this is from a horror movie. Mm -hmm. I've never done that before. You make the cereal in your mouth. Mm -hmm. I've never done it before either. Maybe that's something that a child would like to do when they're playing. <laughs> um. It's not, I, I'm just, I'm at a loss. It's not The Shining. Yeah, just guess. Uh, process of I, elimination. I, I've seen yeah. it pretty recently, so I know the it's one, not in the that. The one right? I remember the least about the plot is Scream, honestly. I, I'm gonna guess Pet Cemetery because it's gotta be one that I haven't seen. Maybe Scream would work. But this has gotta be something that, okay, so every detail that is in a Stephen King movie is like one of six details that were in the book, right? Because mm -hmm. you have to like take all, you just, you can't, the movie can't be 12 hours long. For sure. And it is the kind of thing that he would have written in a book. So I think that Pet Cemetery is the correct guess. 
Okay. I'm going to agree with that. Oh, really? But he also wrote It. Uh, yeah, but <gasps> it, I've seen it's It true. too recently. And, and The Shining. But yeah, the Shining, and The Shining. But The Shining is about <laughs> a, hot- a, is about a hotel in the 70s, and uh, Fruit Loops didn't exist. <laughs> Nobody was eating Fruit Loops in The Shining, as far as I can remember. I think we're making educated guesses, okay. and I think that's great. Well, let's get out of that. Let's 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 move. You're very encouraging, Party. Gwen. Like Woo! you, you you make me feel not like yet, we're doing Gwen. well, <laughs> even if I know we're not. Okay, good. So, so, I want this to be. <clears throat> sorry, it's really large. <laughs> it's no, this is apple bottle. juice, right? Well, we're not going to drink it. This is Jack Daniels. Right. Um. Yes, this is a bottle of. Jack Daniels. All right, so uh, Pet Cemetery. Yeah, I got nothing. You're pretty. You felt. You feel strongly about um, Ghostbusters. Mm, I don't remember anything from. I think I'll know it. I'm pretty mm. positive this is The Shining, and I think it's when Jack Nicholson is basically losing his whoop whoop, and he, he starts. He's he's, he's he's there to he's there to write a novel, right? Or or he's there to write a, a movie. All Jack and No Daniels makes no, he's Jack there to write a, a novel. boy. <laughs> and he's there to write a novel, and he's at the typewriter, and he's got a bottle of Jack Daniels. I mean, I'm kind of piecing this together in my mind. So you think it's subtle like that? Yeah. Yeah, yeah he's just drinking whiskey. He's just drinking whiskey while he's trying to do his job. I think okay. that's the right, yeah, that's oh, the right idea. Oh, okay. Jiffy Pop. Jiffy Pop. So this is retro. Um, mm, Jordan Peele could go retro. I don't remember that. Child's Play is a retro movie. Like that's from the '80s, right? I think it could be Scream or Child's Play. I it could also. Be, why would it be Scream? Well, what Scream was what what year? I want to say 1998. 90s, right? So I'm just saying that Jiffy wrong. Pop is something that could exist in the seven. I just don't remember enough about Scream. Or I don't remember enough about Child's Play to know that. I'm sure this is one of those scenes where they're. Jiffy Pop is a really, you can use it as a, a great horror like technique, right? Is like it, a suspense is builder. Is this for real? This is, is this for real? Yeah. Oh, for I real. thought it was just a, <gasps> I thought it was, I thought it was a prop. I love Jiffy Pop. I think it's you didn't think the make most it anymore? fun you can have making I've popcorn. never, I've never done Jiffy Pop. I think I Jiffy Pop a, is what everybody should do. I don't have a microwave, so I actually do make Jiffy Pop at home and it's great. So, hmm. you do it on the stove top and it, mm-hmm. that it starts out flat? Wow, that's cool. I know. It is cool. Doesn't taste great. 96. Though. Scream came out in 1996. I'm sorry about that. I saw it in the theater when it came out, for sure. I feel like this might be Scream. That's all I got to say. But it could be Child's Play. Well, I'm letting you I'm letting you take the lead here. Now, before we go on, you know it's really scary? How many podcasts we have. <laughs> <laughs> We got one almost for every day of the week, y'all. <laughs> we got ear biscuits. We got a hot dog as a sandwich. We got best friends back. All right. We got dispatches from Myrtle Beach, and we got Trevor talks too much. And on ear biscuits, we did something really scary. We talked about sex. Yeah. And you know what? Every week on my podcast with my dad, we talk about sex. That's true. Like Stevie, you got you guys will talk about sex on your podcast. <laughs> yeah. And then a hot dog is a sandwich. Right? I mean, it's yeah. got a hot dog in the name. And then Trevor, everybody knows Trevor is super sexy. So <laughs> we basically have like the sexiest lineup of podcasts that any company in town has. Don't you? Th- don't you agree, Gwyneth? <laughs> Yay, sex! <laughs> right. Next item. That's it. Oh, the rest yeah, are decoys. The rest, yeah. So. All right. So do we want to move anything around? Because now we haven't used everything. Yeah, I, I feel like, fine with this. Again, I feel like okay. I would have known Get Out and It. So there's nothing there. I feel good about that. So just to be, okay. So what did we we have? Um, Scream Jiffy Pop. Scream for Jiffy Pop. We had. The Shining Daniel, for Jack Shining. Daniels. Twinkies, Twinkies for, for Ghostbusters. Ghostbusters and. Pet Cemetery. I don't, I don't feel strongly about this guess, but. Okay. Where do you want to start? Why don't we? It's a. I don't know. Do you want to start? Do you with, want me? You want to say like how many they got right out of four? And yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys did excellent with three out of four. Whoa. Okay, so let's figure out the one There's that we, one think that we want to switch. Oh yeah, good. I think. I think this is Child's Play. Oh. I think we move Jiffy Pop to Child's Play. <laughs> no, she just oh, said don't I change think we, that one. I think we move <laughs> Fruit Loops. Fruit to Loops Child's to Child's Play. play. Cause it's a kid. It's a kid oh, who gosh, likes I'm to trouble. eat. I'm having trouble. I didn't mean we'll to leave bring this here. Okay. I, didn't, I didn't mean to bring that. With oh, me. You leave that there. We're gonna put this here. And th- we are now locked. 
Okay, Gwen, do you want to say how many out of four they have now? Three out of four. <laughs> so it was that one, but that one needs to go. Did Jordan Peele do this and get out and I didn't see it? No. Then it's it. It's it. Move it to it. <laughs> <laughs> right there. I'm so sorry. Yeah. How many do we have right now? Three out of four. <laughs> okay. Jordan Peele did it and get out. Okay. How many do we have right now? Four out of four. Oh! four. All right. Four where do you want to start? Let, let's buffs. see. Let's see some clips. Okay. Yeah. Where do we want to start? Wherever you want to start. It's up to me. Gwyneth, you're okay. in charge. Okay. So <laughs> let's start with Scream. Yes. Yep, well that's definitely Jiffy Pop. And see, it's a, a suspense builder. I just love it. It's so good. Wow. Why don't you want to talk to me? Look at that yeah, phone. You tell me your name, I'll tell it's you a big mine. boy. <laughs> I don't think so. What's that noise? Popcorn. You never told me your name. Why do you want to know my name? I want to know who I'm looking at. Oh, oh dang. Ugh, look, I gotta go. Wait. I yep, we turn off the lights out there. Nah, I don't think so. You should don't hang up on me. The popcorn. Why did she turn off the lights Post outside? at this point. You have then, to really keep your eyes on Jiffy Pop. And is it going... <laughs> yeah, it'll get out of control real is fast. Is it going to explode and that's going to be a jump scare? That's actually what kills her. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we could tell him anything. He hadn't seen it. Yeah, that's so true. A lot Wait, of people die in Scream, right? What were you doing in 1996 that you didn't see Scream? I feel like it was so Here's big. Here's a weird thing. Graduated we were, from high school. We were okay. best friends. Mm -hmm. We lived in the same town. We hung out all the time. You know who did see it? Me. Okay. I don't I don't know what he was doing. Right. I think maybe we did a lot of things and he just forgot. Mm -hmm. It's a good movie. <laughs> worth worth a rewatch, I think. That looked good. It looked very scary. It is I mean, scary. Popcorn, tension. Is it gonna pop? Is yeah. it gonna over pop? Is she gonna drop that phone on her foot and nobody, lose a toe? Nobody likes burnt popcorn. And so that no. was definitely part mm -hmm. of, you know, amping up. Okay. So, so next. Get out. I can't. <laughs> I should be able to remember this. What's the Get Out clip? So I think this was, I've actually only seen Get Out once because I think it's that scary. Like, I don't want to rewatch it. What a great it. movie. It's so So yeah. this good. has to take place at her parents' house because that's the only, like, domestic setting mm -hmm. in the whole movie. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. who's doing this? Okay, we got to see the clip. I don't, I don't remember. It's actually a still. <laughs> oh, yeah. I couldn't find a video of the scene, but it was like, it's she's just really. She's doing it at her parents' house. It's when you start, like, seeing that she's. Weird. A frightening person. I love the fact that he, oh. I, lo I mean, I love Jordan Peele. And it, when you think about his movies, you think back on them, you're like, oh, yeah, he did this and he made this choice. But yeah, this is totally this like, what's the weirdest thing this this girl could do? Exactly. Eat fr dried Fruit Loops and then sip milk. And it makes you think, she's that's, not right. That's why I think it's so memorable. Yes. It's uh, just like I this signal, it. like, who does this? It's very yeah. weird. Well, if, yeah. you, if you grew up with Brian Williams as a father. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh All my right. god, didn't he lie about something? What's true? <laughs> right, yeah. yeah what's what's true? real? What's true anymore? He probably told this is how everyone eats cereal. <laughs> uh, yeah, he was like, let me tell you about my time. And <laughs> so you were right about The Shining. Are we, we were, was he correct about the scene? So actually, the scene that I shared a clip of and that it makes me think of is like it's when he is starting to lose his mind but he actually goes to the bar and he, oh he goes to the bar yes okay. and there is someone manning oh, it oh yes there is what would be so huh. the hair of the dog that bit me <laughs> so bourbon on the rocks that'll do it um what, so what kind of place is no choice to Mr. Torrance the Overlook Hotel no charge? Your money's no good here. <laughs> Orders from the house. That actor is uh, so good. I and love so that movie, man. Did he blink? I don't think he did. I also, well, I just was catching the fact that I think he said bourbon on the rocks. Didn't he? <laughs> and right. then they give him Jack Daniels. It's not even a bourbon. Hey, again, it's a little bit weird. Yeah. So huh. It's a little bit off. Twinkies and Ghostbusters. Was he right about the Bill Murray scene? Um, yeah, so it's actually like um, 
it is Harold Ramis, Zegon so no. Spangler. No, Bill Murray like walks into the scene. Oh, okay, like, they're kind of all in it. They're, but, like, they're using well, a Twinkie as a uh, as a as an a- analogy yes. for something, but I can't remember what it is. Yes, photokinetic energy, I believe. Okay, let's watch. Yeah. Well, let's say this Twinkie represents the normal amount of psychokinetic Psycho. energy in the New York yes. area. Okay. See, I'm According remembering According to this it. morning sample, it would be a Twinkie. 35 feet long, weighing approximately 600 pounds. <laughs> That's a big Twinkie. <laughs> That's a big Twinkie. I remember yeah, that yeah, line. Yeah. Dang. I love That's a big Twinkie. <laughs> they okay. smoke so much in that movie in such a <laughs> yeah. weird way. Hey, when you're done with ghosts, you got to do something. Yeah, All right, what's your parting gift? I know what you want. Yay! All right, and I'm going to take this. Okay, cool. That was so fun. Thank you for letting me talk about horror movies. They're oh, my favorite anytime. things in the entire world. Uh, me too. You're welcome. No, and this, then everyone should mine. rewatch Scream. Everyone should rewatch all these movies, actually, especially Pet Cemetery. It's my favorite. Horror movies hold up better than any kind of movie, I'm telling you right now. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I, I'm going to watch Lord of the Rings again. <laughs> <laughs> you need a new podcast in your life? Mythical's got you covered. Ear Biscuits, Dispatches from Myrtle Beach, Best Friends Back All Right, Hot Dog is a Sandwich, and Trevor Talks Too Much.